Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie Tuari, also known as Tuari Yoga, and today we are in day four of our five day meditation challenge. So as always, we are gonna have a new theme to focus on, and today's meditation will be focusing on the word patience. So have a little feel out as to what kind of first came to your mind when I said that word, you might think, yeah, I'm really chill, I'm really patient, gonna have no problem with this. Conversely, you may feel a little trigger there if you are not a very patient person. Patience is something that I definitely struggle with. Um, some of you might know that I pick three words for my year, every single year, and one of my words for this year is the word patience. So I'm gonna be in this with you. I'm gonna be definitely doing this one with you. So let's get started. These meditations are always short. They're about 10 minutes long, so get ready to spend a short amount of time just delving deep into this topic and being open to having a conversation with yourself. When you're ready, let's get into a comfortable seat. I'm gonna come cross-legged. I am sitting on a little meditation cushion, but you don't have to. You can sit on a block, you can sit on a, any cushion, a blanket, or you can just sit on the ground. You don't actually have to sit with anything underneath you. Um, I find that when I do, it helps get me in the zone a little bit more, but we're all different. So you might find that kneeling is in fact a better position for you. Alternatively for this one, I'm gonna invite you, if you would like, to lie down flat on your sofa, on your bed, on top of a blanket. So you've got the option to either come into a seated upright position or you can be lying down. So take your time to get into your posture, whichever one you've chosen, and then just close your eyes. So if you're lying down, bring your hands either side of your body and just turn the palms to face up towards the sky. And if you're seated, you can have your hands in your lap. And let's just start to tune into the breath. So eyes closed, shoulders relaxed, deeply breathing in and out through your nose. Taking a moment just to settle, to arrive in the space, to tune out of everything that's been going on before and to start to tune inwards. And just see if you can slow down the breath. If it helps, you can bring your hands to rest on top of your belly, either having both the hands on your belly, or you can have one hand on your belly and the other hand on your chest. And this is a nice guide, so you can watch the breath flowing through your body with your hands placed there. If that doesn't work for you, keep your hands on your lap and just visualize the breath moving through the prana, the life force energy, the vital energy. And feel the prana expanding through the whole body. And with your eyes closed, just make sure they're not tightly squeezed shut. So make sure that even with your eyes closed, there's still a softness there. So we want the breath and the physical body to feel gentle. The breath is even and your face is relaxed. Imagine like you can feel the corners of your eyes melting away and like your forehead smoothing out. Now let's come to the idea of this word patience. How do you feel when I say that word? Is there anything that comes to mind? Just 
Is there anything that makes you feel judgmental over or attached to? And again, trying to apply what we learn in day one and day two, of not being judgmental to ourselves and not being attached to however a previous situation has played out. But instead, trusting the observation that we're having right now. So we're just accepting our current state, what we're telling ourselves about that word patient. Taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through the nose. And continuing with that breath. So sometimes we like to remind ourselves of how patient or not patient we are. So for example, I could say to you, I'm not a very patient person. And while I find that that is probably true, I'm not as patient as I'd like to be, telling myself that I'm not patient perpetuates the, the idea that I'm not patient. So every time there's a situation where I have the opportunity to be patient, if I'm in the mindset of I'm not patient, I then approach that situation with the view of that's not something I'm going to be patient for because I'm not a patient person. And so it's a thought pattern. And while it might be true that in the past, I could have been more patient in situations. It doesn't mean that in the future, every situation I deal with is gonna be taken with that same level of impatience. So just watch if that's similar to you. Deeply breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Just staying here, connected with your breath, conscious with your thoughts, getting to this higher state of consciousness. Hyper aware, really acutely aware of what's going on in your mind. And then I want you to just think about whether there are situations in your life where you want to be more patient. And what it is that's making you feel impatient. So is it that there are actually some other emotions going on, bubbling under the surface that are coming up as impatience, but actually are rooted in anxieties, rooted in fear, rooted in this sense of, of anger, perhaps. So just being aware. And with this practice of meditation, we can take a look at ourselves and our behaviors and think, ah, oh, that's really interesting. I've been doing this all along. I only did it again on this time. I only did it again on this time. And then the judgment wants to creep in. Then you want to tell yourself a story about how bad you are. So cut that bit out. But keep the bit where you are fascinated with your behavior and you're aware of what's been happening. Maybe at the time you were unaware, but on reflection, in hindsight, you can review and see the similarities, perhaps. Breathing in through your nose. Exhaling through your nose. Connect the breath. Sometimes when we're reflecting, we want to tighten, we want to grip, we want to hold the breath because it can be a bit tricky to discuss 
with ourselves these kind of situations. So if you feel like that, it's okay. Just slow everything down. Come back to your breath and allow yourself to just be guided by my voice and guided by your breath. We're going to try and take some time for ourselves to let go of situations in the past where we have been so impatient that perhaps it's led to this feeling of regret for how we behaved in a situation. Or perhaps we feel like we were too patient with people and now we look back and think we've been walked all over. So we're just being aware of how the two ends of the spectrum, being too patient versus not being patient at all, has affected us in past situations. So taking a moment to review what those situations were who was there and how does it make you feel? How did it make you feel then? How does it make you feel now? It's okay if you feel emotional, allow any emotions you're feeling to come up and to come out, express them. Keep the breath flowing. And know that it's safe and it's okay for you to let go of any of those feelings, things you've been holding on to. Releasing the regret, releasing any shame that you might have felt or that you might be feeling. Taking a huge breath in through your nose, sitting up tall or stretching up tall. And exhale this time through your mouth, big release. <sighs> Making a big noise if you want to, let's do that again. Huge breath in through the nose. And exhale, release, <sighs> let go. Good. Notice how you feel. Take your time to open the eyes and welcome yourself back to the room. Well done. It's tough to do that. It's tough to do that reflection, I know. Please journal, write it out. Send your friend a message if you were thinking about them just now. Make some notes on what things you want to let go of and maybe of what things that you want to change. And as always, if you enjoyed this, please make sure to like and subscribe. You'll get a notification for day five as to when I release the video tomorrow and all the other classes I do on here. And I love hearing your thoughts and your experience. So please pop in the comments. I read every single one and I always reply. So I hope to hear back from you on that soon. Make sure you're following at Tawara Yoga if you're not already. And I will see you tomorrow for day five of our meditation challenge.